better chaps. And uh, just finished the two standard bearers. Uh, these are the Norman figures, which are standing in for uh, Viking Bondi figures, which are the unarmoured warriors in my Viking army. And the figures are Gripping Beast. And the flag is a Gripping Beast. And now the reason I've shown this little, doing this little vid is just to, a couple of guys just asked me how I do my flags. Um, and so, cut them out, glue them, PVA glue, either side. And then what I normally do is just let them dry and I'll just put a paint pot on uh, and leave it overnight. And then, so for example, this guy here, I used my favorite cavalry brown I think that is watered down and just go along the edges always remember to do that uh, because there's nothing worse than seeing a white edge around the flags uh, on this one I use black so that's that and to furl them I'll use a round handle brush and we'll do this guy furled inwards so it might be a bit difficult with the camera in the way so I'll place it at an angle all right let's have you and curve it slowly round I try to keep it away from being too too obvious the the um, the, cur the curl in the flag that fell because you know you, you can do like parallel to the flagpole to the to the pole sorry um, but just give it a different angle I will on this one anyway and then curve it back the other way. Come on you. Open up a little bit. Then the individual curve that around that way. So it looks a bit better. That's that guy. He'll have a Shield them in. This guy will have a rather dull colour shield because I thought I've got to do the edges around the shield, uh, but it's quite uh, bright uniform so or clothing, so just tone it down with a, a duller looking shield. Um, with hindsight, I'd, I wish I painted this guy's tunic a different colour because obviously you've got the um, it's very similar to the flag and that has a bit of a low oversight on my part but um you know what they say about hindsight let's just come out of here and what i'll do this one we'll do it more parallel to the flagpole just because it's longer so i'll do it that way like that next one Slight angle, I think. Let's get variation. And back that way. Bring it together a bit more. Just slightly opened up there the flag, so I'll put them. Um, Drop a paint on that, I think. There he is. 
don't have to do it too, um, over elaborately. Uh, I think sometimes less is more. So that's how it will be. Like that. And there they are. How to give simple furls to banners. Thanks for watching, fellas.